Of course. What would it be without constant, constant, uh... Troubles? Technical difficulties? Technical difficulties. Trials and tribulations are what mold us into the men that we hope to become generations from now. <laughs> Fuck who I'm going to be. I want to be happy now. <laughs> you want to be soft and supple like a woman. That's okay, what you so, want to be. So I realized the last time that we played that, yes, it's prompting me to uh, to, to buy the, the, the scrubber, but I'm not a high enough level for it yet. So I'm going to go and get it later. For now, I'm going to do the other mission that I've got set up. Uh, and which is? Uh, learn to fight from uh, Sasha. So yeah, I got the learner's permit, so I go and I show that to Come him now. Back. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, you can do the uh, the Shasha Nine Shasha. brain. Shasha Nine. I'm sorry. I really wanted to watch. I, I got a little bit of Sean Connery in my affectation, I guess, because I really wanted to watch Sir Billy yesterday, but my friends just weren't having it. Sir they Billy. They said that it was too painful. It's this one. <laughs> Really, it's it's in the vein of food fight, where it's just this really, really fucking disgustingly awful 3D animated film that you know was made by either incompetent quacks or cheap motherfuckers, <laughs> because it, it it the guy that that protested, my friend that uh, said kept saying no that didn't want to see it was right. He was right. It looks fucking awful, but that's why I wanted to see it. Cause right. He I love. Does, does I love. Not, I love bad not... movies. No, he he said food fight was a travesty and pure suffering on his eyes, so he never watched it. <laughs> I mean, but then he wrong. missed. Well, I know, but then he missed such scenes as oh, <laughs> Leonard survival Leonard. of the finish, Leonard. But um, it's it's this one Scottish made production. I guess the Scots were trying to make their own animated studio or something. <laughs> Hmm. Um, and it's just fucking awful, apparently. The Scots don't know how to animate. Who knew? Um, and so, because it was, I think, funded by the Scottish government. Yeah, normally uh, stuff that does, like, anything that's not Hollywood, usually the, the country that it's from, or like, because uh, the same thing happens with Canadian films, is they'll get they'll get funding from the government. I think video games do, too. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, which is why a lot of companies have moved to Toronto and, and the like, because they get subsidies from the government to come up there. But, um, yeah, it was funded by the Scottish government, apparently. And so I guess they're like, who's Scottish that's famous? And they went down the list and they're like, oh, shit, all we got is Sean Connery. Let's get Sean Connery. So they brought him out of retirement after he retired after that other travesty of a film league of extraordinary gentlemen and decided to hop on board with this project and this premise is about a skateboarding veterinarian that tries to save a bunch of kidnapped like squirrels or some shit what the fuck and it's i mean just the plot description alone just Welcome makes to me want to grab a couple of milk duds and, and sit down and waste one hour and 12 minutes and 50 seconds of my life to that but apparently my friends didn't agree <laughs> i mean i don't blame them but i'd love to watch bad stuff on purpose oh me too and the thing is that like they all do too everyone was on board except for my artist friend because he's just like such a snob i guess he just couldn't, couldn't do it <laughs> wasn't in the right mood huh I don't think he's going to ever be in the right mood for Sir Billy. <laughs> I've never heard of it, so I'll have to check it out. It's made in 2012, and it looks worse than Toy Story 1. Oh. Like, how, how do you pull that off? Like, there's just no fucking lighting. There's just all the models look like just detritus. Well done, Raz. Keep well done, Raz. Keep <laughs> what, 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 well done, Red. Well, I guess that carried over because I remember Psychonauts too. You remember our stream where we uh, talked to, I think it was that one, not black chick. <laughs> uh, the purple that was one. 
Hollis, I think, was her name. There, if if you uh, smack her, uh, her voice line plays every time you hit her. There's no buffer. So you can just fucking spam the shit out of melee, and you just get like cut it out. Make him sound like Chris Farley doing an interview with with Paul McCartney or something. That's an old SNL reference. Yeah, I just watched it last night because I was just going. Well, um, what you saw in your the friend that didn't want to watch Sir well, Billy was sure uh, telling us about oh, Jiminy Glick. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, we watched the Mel Brooks interview that but Jiminy Glick this did. This 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 uh, character that Martin Short made of him like in a fat suit. And yeah, it's like... I know who Jiminy Glick is. I know you, again, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you. I give a fuck about the audience. For the audience, yeah. The, um, guys in a fat suit stuffs himself with donuts, um, but he's, he's got really funny affectations. His voice like modulates all over the place, and sometimes it goes really high. Sometimes it goes really low. Yeah, he's, a, he's fucking manic. It's like, but he's kind of got like a gay lisp going on, where he's like, "So, Mel Brooks, um." What's your beef with the Nazis? <laughs> and Mel Brooks just starts breaking down laughing. But um, uh, but we watched that, and I was like, oh, you know, you know another awkward interviewer that's pretty funny is uh, Chris Farley on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> but Remember when you were in the, the Paul Beatles? One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> Just labored breathing for 30 seconds and then a question that makes it like five. <laughs> the best interviewer ever. Just nothing. No open-ended questions. It's just yes or no. Do you remember when when you said <sighs> in that one album Abby wrote <laughs> the ending song no. <laughs> I'm getting lightheaded just breathing like that. I don't know how he fucking did that on Coke. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure Coke helped. Got... I think Coke would be the opposite where your blood pressure is already so high. Just breathing like that would fuck up your your pulse and everything. I, I, Maybe I'm that's what killed him. Now. He breathed too hard after he shot that eight ball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did, speaking of like gay emphatic voices like this Jiminy Glick. Um, I wonder if I can speed it up somehow. Oh my god. I I think I accidentally got molested. Oh yeah? How do you accidentally get molested? Like it's not an accident, but like you just like you, you know when you get like you get touched or like molested, but it's like it's surreptitious and subtle enough. To where you don't think anything of it until like <laughs> afterwards you're like wait i think i just got raped by a gay dude I wonder what would happen <laughs> if I turned that dial up. after the fact you know so like i i got a haircut a couple of days ago by this one middle-aged lebanese barber <laughs> and uh i got uh after the haircut a massage on the the triceps you know and the shoulders and uh, not the triceps, the uh, trapeziuses and the shoulders. And I'm like, okay, it's a neck massage. I've heard of barbers doing that. You know, he, he's working hard for that extra tip. Little did I know he was working hard for the tip of my dick, not so much for it dipping cash. But um, yeah, he fucking just kept working his way down <laughs> on the massage until like he was like fondling my biceps. And then he. <laughs> He gave me his personal number afterwards. <laughs> he was very insistent. And I'm, I was like, I thought, like, oh, he just does this with everyone. But <laughs> fucking... I, 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 I then thought back to it. And I was like, there was this one, like, normal black dude that was getting his hair cut with, right next to his friend. And I saw the very end of that haircut. No massage. He just got straight up out of his chair and, and left. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. 
<laughs> I mean, I guess I'd, you know, extra service, but, you know. The middle-aged, gray fox, uh, Lebanese dude isn't really on the top of my list of people who I'd like to get complimentary massages from. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I, I got... And then I asked my, my gay uncle about it uh, the following day. Uh, and he's like, of course you just... He was fucking hitting on you. Why the fuck are you asking me? <laughs> it's like I don't want to be presumptuous, you know. I don't. I don't want to discriminate against the gay folks just thinking that everyone's gay and that everyone's out for my butt hole. It's like no, yeah, he was trying to fuck you. <laughs> like oh, okay, well, I guess uh, we know this. The end of that then. If, if I had pursued it, because he also asked where I lived while he was massaging me. <laughs> Where do you live? How often do you work out? Have any friends? Got a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> do you enjoy the company of men or women more? <laughs> who do you say you enjoy the company more of? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jimmy's like, Fuck, who do you think that you enjoy the company more of? Uh, do you think that you have cum on the tip of your tongue? Do you think that uh, your your breath smells like dick? Maybe? Hmm? Maybe? <laughs> Uh oh. Isn't this in yeah, his brain? How is he in his own brain? You were in your own brain earlier on. You don't remember that with the. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I was. The TV static and it, the brain tumbler. He tumbled into another his one own of, brain. Another one of Dr. Joseph Mengele's famed Holocaust experiments. <laughs> Whoa, trippy. That is actually exactly how I would imagine the inside of a German's brain being. <laughs> Just a perfect cube. Just a perfect cube. Everything compartmentalized, you know. Incredibly boring. <laughs> Very practical. <laughs> yes, everything is neat and orderly. Oh, he didn't die from two blasts? So have you ever gotten molested by a gay guy? Uh, no, I got a little too friendly with a gay cousin, but uh, I didn't know he was gay. <laughs> <laughs> story time, story time. <laughs> no, like, he was, uh, he was older than me, but he and I got along. I was maybe like... A little too well? Uh, I was like 11. And, Ooh. Uh, no, he didn't make any advances. He didn't do anything weird. We just like hung out a lot. And I, I remember like at one point, like he just grabbed my pee pee and then I screamed <laughs> and then I, I yeah, shut it out until today. Yeah, he put a, a clothespin on the tip of my wiener. You know, the, the typical stuff cousins do to each other. Oh, yeah, it's just natural hazing, you know. Yeah. Back in caveman times, it was just a couple of rocks on the dick. But Ow. Tied, tied up with animal sinew. <laughs> yeah. And then they'd throw you off a bridge and watch your dick sink first to the bed. <laughs> How do you... F uh, uh, oh, so, like, uh, at one point, like, we were both laying down on the couch, and I was, like, I was laying on its back. And, uh... Oh, God. <laughs> my grandma showed up and had, like, a fit, and I had no clue what she was all upset about. <laughs> he was just trying to fit in his dick in the mouth, right? <laughs> No, like Why I were said, you laying on his back? We were watching TV together. Just both laying down. So, so wait, you were like laying stomach on yeah. his back? Yeah. With, oh, with your dick up his butt. <laughs> I guess that would be the idea if that's what was going on. Yeah, what do they call that? Prone, prone bone? <laughs> prone bone, yeah. I was prone boning my cousin. At 11 years old. At 11 years old. I wish I was that eager of a developer, you know. <laughs> I I didn't think anything of it at the time, and I it never occurred to me until just now. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you've just been closet homosexual your entire life, then, huh? Yep. Huh? Who would have guessed? Is that why? You, is that why you're uh, in a partnership with me? Yeah, I'm uh, w waiting to pop the question with you. Well, I'm, my eggs aren't getting any younger. <laughs> They're set to hatch, Spurgle, so you oh, better okay. get fucking on that. All right, I'll, I'll get on it. <laughs> you got to make an honest woman out of me. 
Yeah, I, I'm not really. Uh, well, you're. I guess you're not the first uh, to make me the object of your homosexual <laughs> desires, because <laughs> there, there is this. <laughs> my, so my friend asks another friend. Uh, uh, so if you had to have anybody in in the group. Uh, suck your dick who would it be <laughs> and he immediately cracks the biggest fucking grin while giggling under his breath like a creepy pedo like, <laughs> and he immediately casts a glance in my direction and i was like i it was kind of an upset because honestly he he seems like he had a hard on for the friend that popped the question we it was a total upset we all, we all thought, I mean, he's hetero as far as we know. I mean, he shoves dildos up his ass. Hey, pegging um, is perfectly normal. Yeah, says the person that got pegged, you know. <laughs> I, I don't of think course. you're in any position to be, to be the arbiter on this subject. I, on the other hand, my asshole is clean and <laughs> unmolested. Except by that barber. <laughs> Oh, he only inserted one pinky. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I mean, no, like, that's no straight. more than a proctologist. This I, this, is my I mean, my gastroenterologist had to put a pinky up there in order to make sure everything was hunky dory just a couple of weeks ago, you know? Well, uh huh. You got them all. See, so it's not as, it's not as uh, unperforated as you might claim it to be. Look, I, the way I look at it is, is if it's, it's smaller than a log of shit, <laughs> then it's fine. You can get one of those skinny dildos. Now, what's the point of that? <laughs> well, it's gonna have is a little bulb at the end to press against the prostate. Again, can't you just put a couple of fingers up there if you're trying to jam it into the prostate? I suppose. It's kind of like could... it's kind of like the G spot for the woman, where you 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 put two fingers in there and then you do a come hither motion. <laughs> exactly. You beckon the G spot. I've been in a few arguments with friends over um, whether or not uh, circumcision counts as uh, genital mutilation. Well, it does. Right. But they don't think it is? Are they no. all Jewish? No, they're not Jewish. They're just. Heavily... Are they collecting the foreskin for social experiments? <laughs> No, they're just heavily American, so they've been brainwashed into thinking like, "Oh, it's 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 for cleanliness and blah blah blah." It's definitely not. Are they genital. making corn husk dolls out of the foreskin? <laughs> wouldn't it be a foreskin doll? Yeah, but you know, people wouldn't know what that meant unless I said corn husk doll. So a foreskin corn husk doll, a a, a foreign skin doll. Fornkin? That sounds terrible. I'd I'd rather stick with corn husk. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, what is this song? I think so. I suck at this. Well, I guess, I mean, Be Beethoven was German. I guess his mind is probably a cube, too. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, they probably <coughs> elected for Beethoven instead of Wagner for a few reasons. Well, because Wagner was a eugenicist and a flaming homosexual at the same time. Uh, was he gay? I figured he wouldn't have gone along with the Nazi party if he was gay. That's very funny. That's like saying Hitler was Christian. <laughs> I, I Dude, didn't... like, half of the upper ranks of, of uh, the SS were gay. It was just one gigantic grab-ass party. <laughs> Are you a member of the gay Nazi party? Would you like to be? <laughs> well, it's like they just want them to be gay. They don't want the rest of the world to be gay. They kind of want the uh, the corner on that market. Oh, I see. I... Seriously, though, like, I'm, I'm sure you could look it up. Just... Well, welcome back. Yeah, look at that. He's T-posing the fatty. <laughs> F-I-T-T-I-E. It's the fat, fat, fatty. Mm. That is a big fucked up sensor. 
Yeah. Do you think you'd ever get to that weight? I'm pretty close to it. Have you lost any? Yeah, I'm down 15 pounds. I'm down 20. Check him. <laughs> Checkmate, AC. I, I win. <laughs> you win. Even if it weren't a matter of numbers, but a matter of proportion. Per capita, my weight loss is astounding. Why does it keep? Oh, because the sensors. You got. You gotta close up the uh, the vents. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anytime you damage him, the small sensors are just gonna subsume into him. There's fucking five of them. Whoa. One for it. Oh. One for every side of a cube. Wow, is that... Oh, you just lost all your mental. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah, we... Uh, Spurgle's um, uh, OBS crashed. Yeah. It crashed It crashed hard. You, you said the N-word too many times. It went down. <laughs> <laughs> they know too much. <laughs> I didn't say the N word. <laughs> Whoa! It's like Super Mario Galaxy, but with cubes instead of planets. Put me down. Oh, what's with the weird stomach thing? He's got pancreatic ulcers. Don't judge. <laughs> I'm going to judge. Fine, then we can judge you all you want for your health problems. That should be private and left alone. I don't have a big open sore on my stomach. What are you fucking talking about? I saw like 30 of them when you were sleeping on the couch in Idaho. <laughs> you looked like like a fucking AIDS patient <laughs> on death's door. That was from lying down for too long. Those are bed sores. And you just kept saying over and over again, workers mark. <laughs> Where's Where's my breakfast breakfast yes, thank you, Sanctified. I'm I'm glad so you let me know. I don't know why it went down like that. No, your merit badge. Let us never speak of Yeah, <laughs> you also just kept like running around. I wouldn't say running, it was more of just like a small uh shamble uh with your your pacemaker and your <laughs> your IV yeah, I don't know why we even brought you. I, I <laughs> you, you had an oxygen tank hooked up to you, and like, I had fun with the volleyball you, though. Yeah, you kept trying to hit it with the oxygen tank, and it just kept like fucking whacking it like a home run baseball bat. It just wasn't working. He was having fun, but everyone else just kind of felt sorry for him. How do you not feel bad when a man's covered in a bunch of ulcers and sores and has an oxygen tank, an EKG sensor? an IV drip hooked up to him and he just looks like he's on death's door because he had one too many DiGiorno stuffed crust cheese pizzas. <laughs> they are delicious. Not so. The cheese tastes fucking awful. If you say so. The mozzarella tastes like it was made in a lab. <laughs> it was made in a lab. I'm sure it's not real cheese. Yeah. I, DiGiorno's garlic bread pepperoni is the only... DiGiorno's that anyone needs to have. <laughs> Stuffed crust is like 20-30% smaller than a normal DiGiorno and the cheese tastes like wax. It's fucking off. I was disappointed. My day was ruined when I had it. <laughs> have you ever had an out-of-body experiment? Or experience? Experiment? Well, when I was younger and listened to a lot of Art Bell, I listened to a program that talked about like how to not necessarily astral project, but like lucid dream. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've done that a few times. And there was one time when I was really fucking sick that like... You shit yourself? <laughs> well, of course. I do that every time I'm sick. But there was one where like I, I was like lying in my bed and I felt myself like rise up out of my bed and was looking down at myself. And then my eyes opened and they were all bloodshot and I just like zoomed back into my body. Did you, like, try and hawk a loogie on yourself? <laughs> well, I tried peeing on myself, but it wouldn't work. <laughs> well, you kept trying to aim for the mouth, and you kept hitting the... Yeah, yeah, just bouncing off my big nose. 
Yeah, same thing happens to me when I do astral projection. <laughs> I've been trying to piss on Aaron Carter for like the past 20 years. It doesn't I, work. How come I can't set the bunny on fire? Have you started playing Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 6? Whichever, whichever one you subscribe to. Smoke, weed, weed, have... Wrong game. All Squaresoft games from that era all fall under the the same umbrella of 420 AD. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, do yourself a favor and look that up. <laughs> right alongside gay Nazis <laughs> in black white. Gay, gay Nazis, black white, and 420 AD. Smoke, smoke, Oh, come on. <laughs> you want to enrich your, your life, don't you? <laughs> I will say that you and your knowledge of the entire world will be just a little bit richer, a little bit more privileged <laughs> by having watched those. <laughs> but um, no, lying. I have not uh, started okay. watching or playing Final Fantasy three. Okay, that or was, six. That was my suggestion for you. I know you're uh, no, I, I started. I started playing Act Razor instead. Act Razor. I think I've heard of that one, but I don't think I've played it. It's it's what, not black white, but black and white, uh, copied uh, that Peter Molyneux game where you play a god and it's like like a kind of like a Sim City, but you're a god. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they did that in Act Razor. It's kind of a weird combo game where it's like part Castlevania, part. Uh, sim city where you you go in as like the corporeal manifestation of this golden delicious sexy god um with with the little like valhalla helm or whatever mm -hmm. and you slay demons and you free the land of monsters and when you free the land of monsters then you can build on top of the land and uh create towns that sounds good uh, cool. Yeah, it's a cool game. The thing is, apparently, they didn't keep the formula at all past the first game for whatever reason, so no one likes anything other than Act Razor 1. Oh, well, they do a 2, just kept the monster fighting in it and dropped the whole city building? I'm not sure. It's all uh, hearsay. Oh. All anecdotal, So because I, I, I haven't played it, so I don't fucking know. Ah, I see. Was it actually released in America? Yeah. Huh. I mean, uh. the beyond the first one. Oh, probably. I don't know. <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> Let me look it up right now. It's only a platformer. Aw, that's no fun. They took away the... No, combat. like, the fun part is not the Castlevania sections. It's No. It's the opposite. It's the, it's the town <laughs> building is fun. <laughs> so they, 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 t they got rid of the one thing that was actually fun. That's, that's hilarious. Of course. But yeah, no, it, it was in America. Oh, okay. Like from... yeah, it's, it's one of like the first Super Nintendo releases. It it released in 1990 in Japan. Oh wow. Yeah. Then again, there's like kind of a... why it looks like a Sega Genesis game, honestly. Oh, does it really? Uh, at least the platforming segments, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, who developed it? Enix. Oh. Kind of why I was bringing up why you brought Act Razor because SquareSoft. I got Enix. You. A match made in heaven, like peanut butter and jelly, or Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> I loved Toe Jam and Earl growing up. I liked Booger Man growing up. Booger Man, huh? Is it based on a comic? I don't know, actually. I don't know enough it's about the IP to actually bullshit about it. <laughs> it's based on the act of picking your nose. <laughs> One would hope. <laughs> no, it's like an Ace Attorney game. Booger Man? Mm-hmm. It's an... It's, uh, objection. <laughs> well, every single time that uh, a, a court objection is overruled, you have to pick your nose and flick it at the judge. <laughs> and every single time you try and do a, a stay or a writ of habeas corpus, you have to take the, your finger gold and, and, and rub it underneath the table. <laughs> Ew. You still doing mm -hmm. that, by the way? Yep. My dog just ate my boogers yesterday. <laughs> Licked them straight up. 
Uh, recycle, I say. Help the environment. <laughs> I don't want to be filling landfills with my boogers. I only sneeze into the trash can. That's disgusting, man. Recycle your shit. <laughs> I don't have a dog to eat it. I know China is, is not taking booger recycles right now, but that means we need to just start putting booger recycling infrastructure inside of America, uh -huh. is all. Do your part. I think Recycle we... your boogers in China. Recycle your boogers. What, is, what the hell is this thing? It's a chunk of, chunk of meat. Is Some it? of that wigger meat. What is meat? Wait, I... Did I do something Releasing wrong? Releasing various vapors and fumes. Okay. You need levitation. Yep. Oh, shit. Kind of weird that you have double jump, but not levitation. Like, why, why'd they give you double jump before you got levitation? I don't know. Ooh. Is this the reveal of the big bad? Dr. Lovato. Yes, the guy that showed up in the first act of Psychonauts 2. <laughs> Are manatees known for being insane? <laughs> They're known for getting run over by boats. <laughs> wow. I wish I was known for something that great. <laughs> well, just go swimming out near, uh, uh, what's that place where all the boats are? A harbor. <laughs> I hate you so much. What? <laughs> that was the word I was trying to get you to say when we hung out and played it. <laughs> and kept, I forgot about that. And you just kept saying port. No time to explain, Sasha. <laughs> That's right, you were like a place where you keep boats. Port. Port. No, the other word. Port. No. The other port. No, a place where you park boats and you 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 disembark from there and you also embark from there. Port. You, have, you have trade goods. It's also a, a nice uh, dessert wine that turns into brandy. That's not what Port. I said. <laughs> <laughs> wine was probably one of the words I wasn't allowed to say. Because we were playing tap. Why? If it's, if, if it's harbor, then wine means nothing. No idea. No, no, I'm saying... Be oh, right, it was harbor, not port. If it was port, it'd be yeah. like, can't say that. The world shall taste my eggs. Yeah, you you got so fucking angry. It's because you kept when... saying the same fucking thing. It's like, I was just... so done with that game. Yeah, you don't say. You know me. When I get done with something, I push the plate away and say I'm <laughs> I'm finished. And you know Wasn't everyone it... else still got their forks and knives up ready to go, and I'm 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 done. I was going to say, I thought you wanted to play, but then I remembered you wanted to, uh... I wanted to do Cranium. Yeah, you wanted Cranium. Which is Cranium's much... way more fun. It's it's also a lot harder. But I, I agree with you, it's probably more fun. For a renaissance man such as myself that can paint, draw, sing, drink, laugh, be merry... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You really can like... paint and draw? What, what's your secret? Uh, Bob Ross streamings. <laughs> you ever you ever watch those? They're so relaxing. Fuck no. Aw. I watch uh, Martha Stewart cooking shows. <laughs> or a Giada. What is it like? Giada. What is her name? She's got stock and great tits, but I just can't remember what her name is. Stock. Stonkin. Oh, stonk and great. Okay. A Giada de Laurenti. Never heard got of her. Kinda, she kind of got a mouth that could probably eat a buffalo hole, but <laughs> she still looks fucking smoking hot even at 50. Probably much, 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 plastic surgery, but... Yeah, she... I don't know how to levitate. Cook a wiener and suck yours, too. It's a fucking win-win. Yeah, that's what they cook on those shows. Is hot dogs. Do you hear? I remember reading an article that said that, like, 
three years of your life get taken off every single time you eat a hot dog. <laughs> I think everyone would be dead. Three years. I know, I thought it was a little sensationalist too, but it's like, I feel like a cigarette only takes like 10 minutes off your life. But <laughs> right? I, Definitely. I, I, apparently hot dogs are worse than cigarettes, like a million times worse. Jesus. Is it because they're like, I don't know, like, do they make pustules on the inside of your body and your organs start failing or something? <laughs> It just goes straight to your liver. It's 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 <laughs> the worse. liver can't process it, so it clogs up your brain. <laughs> right. It's it's worse than doing a hundred shots of, of heavy liquor. Just this boy's got the liquor and the hot dog. <laughs> and you got the hot dog liver. You, you only had two months to live. Have you ever seen that one? It was like this uh YouTube video, I can't remember how I found it, but it was this one Russian grandpa that had three fifths of vodka all standing in a row, and he just downed them all within the span of two minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> and as soon as he downs the third one, he drinks vodka faster than I drink water. That guy's got an amazing throat for that shit. But. <laughs> Um, as soon as he finishes the third bottle, he just falls. Over. His eyes, yeah, no, his eyes go blank. <laughs> God, thousand yard stare, and then he kind of walks forward a couple of steps, stumbles a little bit, and then just falls over like a plank of wood, and then just starts vomiting profusely, <laughs> like. Two and a half bottles worth of, of vodka up into the snow. Ugh. Oh, it was magical. Oh, not this kid again. Well, I drank three fifths of vodka for me to drive. You know, he kind of sounds like uh, Psychic Pebbles because he, he's got the same thing where he's got, got like the deviated septum. Yeah. It has to do all his breathing through the mouth. <laughs> I wish we'd get noticed by those guys. But we're not autistic uh, enough. I'm plenty autistic. I'm autistic enough for the both of us. It's just that you are too normal. Oh, is that what... <laughs> I don't think that's ever been levied against me before. That's a new one. <laughs> you are too normal. You just don't, you're just not as, um, of a free spirit as me. You're just not as goofy. Oh, is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Too much of you're a not free as doofy. spirit. You just, you're not as doofy or Marty Mouse as me. <laughs> Twerp. I love the word. Twerp. I love that word, twerp. I, love... I like the word net. Huh? <laughs> I just love three word contractions. You almost never see them. I like the word nethers. Nethers? Nethers is a good one. It's not exactly what I'm talking about, but it's hey, still a good one. New in the store? Take a look. Uh, another word I like that's Ooh, really that's fancy. That. What's that? You can change the color of some Turd. Is that a real fancy word? Yeah, they use them at all the dinner galas I hear, like the Hollywood elite. They got like little turd centerpieces going on, like, like the thanksgiving turkeys right after they have you ever heard of like the stories where like in the sex dungeons of all of like the rockefellers and shit which is like apparently takes place in a castle like fucking uh what the what uh like resident evil 4 like i guess like the rockefellers are all like salazar and uh what what is the other guy's name the little midget is mid is the midget salazar and, and then sadler yeah sadler yeah the where it's just like, I am Joseph the Rocky Filler. Welcome to my castle. And they, uh, they have like sex dungeons full of like eleven-year-olds, oh, and they like do this thing where, in order to get them so they don't age past the tender, delicious, sexy, ripe, age, well, <laughs> they, uh, they have it where they have them do Hunger Games. <laughs> Where like in this dark, dank sex dungeon in the middle of a castle in Spain or something, 
they throw them a sword into the middle of the sex dungeon of like 12 year old girls and they have to kind of sort it out and the winner gets to suck the dick of joseph d rockefeller <laughs> how amazing i don't know it's amazing it's kind of fucked up if you ask me but it's just like you know welcome to my castle sex dungeon here have a sword Whoever beheads the other one shall suck my dick. Well, <laughs> I don't know if people would be trying so hard to f to kill each other if that was if you let it know, be known that that was your reward. Well, okay, here's a would you rather. Would you rather get your head chopped off by an 11 year old little girl, or would you rather suck Joseph D. Rockefeller's dick? I think I'd rather get my head chopped off. I think I'd rather suck Joseph D. Rockefeller's dick. I love life too much. <laughs> I don't like dick, but I do love life. And eventually you'll love Rockefeller. I suppose so. I guess if Stockholm Syndrome really sets in. <laughs> that is how it works. What? <clears throat> making them suck your dick after a sword fight? <laughs> yep. And you just can't help yourself. It'd be really funny if they like threw like here is a claymore, here is a bastard sword. Like it's not even like a dagger or something. It's like a full-on fucking gigantic two-handed sway hander. <laughs> I would love to see an eleven-year-old little girl try and wield a sway hander. <laughs> Weighs like twice as much as she does. Weighs twice as much as, like, twice as tall. Right. Like <laughs> Barely lifted like off the ground. Yeah, I'm sure that that's, that's why they did it, so that there wasn't a whole lot of, like, size modification in Dark Souls, but can you imagine, like, making yourself a midget? It'd be fun. That'd be so fun. <laughs> it would also be cool if you could do, like, voice modulation to where your, your guy sounded like a little gnome. You know, like <laughs> those few times you actually like, you die. die or something. Yeah. In the middle of the stream. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, he's gonna have to suck it for a little while. That your brother? Uh, no, it's it's my father. Oh well, tough titty. Yeah, it's what pretty much what I told him. I told him to suck it. <laughs> Same thing that Rockefeller said to those little girls. <laughs> he's just letting you know he's going to run the power washer again. <laughs> no, he's not even here. Oh, he's not? He's, that's why he just keeps trying to call me, blowing up my phone like I'm some 18-year-old Instagram thought. I got too many black dicks waiting in line for me to consider my father's. <laughs> my father! So how long are you banned from those uh, dating websites? Is it permanent? It's permanent. Oh, that sucks. I know. How am I going to get my dick wet now? Am I supposed to actually have interactions with girls in real life? Apparently. Women don't do that no more. <laughs> they already got 50 dicks lined up, like I said, on the Instagram and the <laughs> and the Bumble and the Tinder. Maybe just hang they out don't... at bookstores. Yeah, and breathe down their necks while they're trying to watch uh, or read a... Uh, Psychology books or whatever, or whatever women are interested in. <laughs> Oprah's Astrology. Book there we go. Oh, God. I was going to say, I said Oprah's book club, but sure, we can go with this. Dude, there have been so few women I've dated that that actually don't believe in that. Yeah, it's pretty like, popular. I don't get it, though. It's like, <laughs> so many of them are like, yeah, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. But Mercury is in retrograde right now, so I'm kind of feeling, like, really alienated. It's like, you, you traded one thing that, like, at least has a bunch of great poetry and writing in it for... What is veritably witchcraft? <laughs> Basically. You would be burned at the stake for such heresy and such words, if it were up to me. If anyone tried to divine the the divine from <laughs> simply looking at the planets in motion. Oh, it's the ecliptic. That's the term I was trying to think of it the other day. The what? The ecliptic. It's the path at which the sun takes that goes through all the, the major constellations. See, that's exactly why you would never be invited 
plays because you're a fucking nerd. They don't like nerds. Everybody loves nerds. Nobody likes nerds. Not even nerds. It's not the... As soon as a nerd turns popular in any kind of television show or movie, they immediately turn on their own. <laughs> you know this to be true. Hey, Elka. Hey, Why would they turn on their own? Because they're disloyal. No. Disloyal penciled neck geeks that know no allegiance to man, woman, child, nation, or God. They only know allegiance to themselves and jock dick. Because you're card blind as well. as well as a nerd. Yeah, I do wear glasses. Glasses! And you're saying you're not a nerd. Hilarious. <laughs> That's all it takes is wearing glasses and knowing our strong That's. Name. Well, I mean, you know, it's starting to paint a picture, I guess, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Very vivid picture, a nerdy picture. One with lots of ones and zeros and mercury and retrograde and bullshit like that. She teaches out on the docks in the sunshine where young kids should be spending their summers. Fuck off! The <laughs> That's basically what his look is. <laughs> Fuck off, you little cunt. Now you are no bigger than the dick cheese that comes off my penis after I shower. Ew. Eh, you'll get it when you're older too, son. Can I burn it down? It smells like Gorgonzola or the tip of a water bottle. <laughs> tip of a water bottle? <laughs> my water bottle's been smelling like dick cheese lately. <laughs> Even after I've scrubbed it. I would change water bottles if I... You. Just... I spent good money on that water bottle. <laughs> I I got it only two weeks ago, and it's already smelling like dick cheese. And yes, I have run it through the dishwasher, and I have washed it manually with sponge and soap in hand. Did not work. So what kind of microphone do you have? Because it sounds much better than your other one. It's an MXL V77 tube with a preamp. That means very little to me. Trust me, it means just as much to me as it does to you. <laughs> ah, telekinetic it's a, bear. It's something that I bought, or not that I bought, but that my dad bought like 15 years ago. Oh. But like, it's like, I don't think microphone technology has really progressed past like the 90s anyways, so. Some would say they've gotten worse. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know. Uh, what with digital and not analog? Yep. Yeah, that's what people say about amps, sir, too, for guitars. To learn, sir. To train hard. Just think about turning on a light and activating a speaker or something. Yes, or something. Sir. To become part of a noble team. What? <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know. To become... yes. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no. Something about, like, they would... Is your brain going south, son? Your no. liver's already failed from all the hot dogs. No, no, you is like you you play the like you you, you turn this you put uh, you hit the string, and then it's supposed to like activate a light, which then like activated the the speaker or whatever. There's something my dad it sounds like a Rube ago. Goldberg machine. <laughs> Basically, <clears throat> that's how they got stuff to work back in the day. It was convoluted. Is that like a science process convolution? Yeah. Is that where you turn like water into wine? No, that's a miracle. Convolution, yes. <laughs> the miracle of convolution. Convolution and prestidigitation, and I shall turn these loaves of bread into more loaves of bread. <laughs> That's just gonna make people reliant on Jesus. I know, he's got a fucking market on the loaf of uh, bread. He's, he's putting all these people out of business. And the fish. Sad, really. I know, all these poor fishermen that barely eke out a living before Jesus came around and completely <laughs> fucked them. <laughs> now they're the leper beggars that he's curing. So it's like, how could you be mad at somebody that bankrupted you but then also cured you of an incurable disease, you know? <laughs> it is a real head scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still be mad at him? Because he technically did cause the disease by making you fester <laughs> in the streets. But he also cured it. I, th I think it'd be breaking even. Wouldn't that be the, the fair way to look at it? <gasps> An egg. So you'd be fine with Jesus then. You'd just be like, okay, Jesus is just a dude. 
Yeah, he's he's kind of a dick, but he did cure me of the disease I got from because of him. So. What if, what if he flicked you a nickel right afterwards? <laughs> well, that'd be a bit insulting. No, it wouldn't. He's giving you a nickel. That's that means that you guys are no longer even. You're not at an even keel. You're now I slightly owe him, above you. Now I'm cured. Now you owe him a nickel. And I owe you him owe a Jesus nickel. a fucking nickel. It's okay. I'll pay my tithe. So what? I guess that's like half a pence then. The ten percent of a nickel. <laughs> a hay penny. A hay penny. Yeah. Ah, fuck this area. I feel like I'm supposed. I to think be Jesus here. would be equally insulted if you gave him a. <laughs> but then, can Jesus get insulted? No, he would just turn the other cheek. That's what he's all about, right? He got really mad at those Jews, though, for fucking up that temple. It's true. As long as they didn't desecrate a, a royal area, or royal, <laughs> holy area, I think it'd be fine. He also got mad at that prostitute for not aborting the baby. <laughs> well, he gave, he gave her the money for it, and she just didn't do it. She just had the kid. I know. He was like, fucking bitch. <laughs> They'll find out I'm not pure. <laughs> that baby's got to go. Either I, either you kill the baby, or I kill you with the baby. <laughs> Just do a miracle. I think that was Mart. I think that was Martin Scorsese's interpretation of the Last Temptation of Christ, right? <laughs> Jesus wants her to get an abortion, and she refuses. Except everyone has like fucking Brooklyn accents too. <laughs> You're referencing something, aren't you? Yeah, Last Temptation of Christ. Have you never? Have you never? I, I saw like a few. Like, Harvey Keitel is in it, and he's like, Hey, big fucking whoop, Jesus, I'm Judas, you know? You, you, we, we do this thing back and forth, I, you tell me that you want to abort this baby, and I say that, no, that's probably not so good, Jesus, you know? <laughs> I've heard of it, I haven't Jordan. seen it, though. Is it actually Why don't we go Scorsese? down to Toy Toy and Toy Jesus, we grab ourselves some Gabagool and maybe a godmother, you know? <laughs> is it actually done by Scorsese? Yeah. Oh, wow, now I have to see so, it. So, like, now, uh, as... As is tradition for Scorsese, he just interprets everything as if it was like an Italian dude growing up in the Bronx circa 1945. <laughs> Ever so, since like... I was little, I wanted to be the son of God. <laughs> <laughs> now all we do is play stickball in the doit patch around uh, Judas's house. I'm just imagining like Judas breaking Christ's legs with a baseball bat. <laughs> this is what you do for hanging around Bethlehem, you motherfucking piece of shit! While Layla from Derek and the Domino starts playing. <laughs> now I have to watch that movie. I, I only saw, like, the first ten minutes of it. Willem Dafoe is Jesus, baby. I knew that. It's kind of funny that he's Jesus, and then they make him the Christ-like figure, the the martyr in um, Platoon, where he, does, he even does the fucking Christ pose when he gets shot in the back. <laughs> Was like, that Willem kind, Dafoe? He's making a mockery of himself. Yeah. Huh. It's like the scene, like, right before he sniffs that green vial and says, we've only begun to tap the human potential. <laughs> sniffs it and then downs it. He becomes Jesus. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He's completely brainless. I think you're conflating two different movies. And then he starts screaming about how uh, he's the Jesus of this lighthouse. And... Three movies? <laughs> <laughs> now he's not gonna get fucked by nobody <laughs> I don't know which movie that is but I think another movie is it uh, uh what's are that? you in or are you out is that one of the is that that one that everybody likes it's the one with the two brothers oh yeah step brothers I think Willem Dafoe was uh the father in that right <laughs> just just replace every Will Ferrell movie with Willem Dafoe. It would instantly be improved, I think. <laughs> oh, I can't get my eyes to stop watering. 
It's because Jesus is possessing you right now. Is or that what it is? Foul. Either or. Uh... I mean, Willem Dafoe had like a giant goddamn monster dong. Do you think that Jesus did too? If he was a perfect man, he would be. But perfect is so... I don't know. It's so he, subjective. He it's like perfect schlong for like a, a tiny four foot Asian woman is going to be one that's like three inches hard. Perfect schlong for like a gigantic, beautiful ebony goddess so it, you know, it, it changes maybe based more on, like nine it changes based on whoever's looking at it wow that's a magic penis huh <laughs> it's like a, an extendable penis <laughs> i feel like that would be almost a, a curse though because what if a gay guy looks at it because isn't like the human intestine like 10 miles long so if a gay guy really wanted to get filled up would that mean that Jesus's dick would be ten miles long? <laughs> if... So it's just like a fire hose that's not actually like corded properly. It's not looped properly. So it's just kind of like tangled and fell on the ground. It's just dragging through the mountains. It's just dragging through the dirt of Bethlehem in Jerusalem. <laughs> And that's where all the Christians go to worship, is where his tangled up fire hose dick drug on the ground. It is holy ground, this dick dirt. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. It's disgusting. I don't know if I would want that much dick. That's too much dick for one man. You don't want 10 miles of dick? Is that fish supposed to be there? Yeah, oh, I guess so. I thought it was just a fucked up asset. <laughs> no, it's someone's talking, talking as it. <laughs> it's like they forget they're in a fucking camp for, like, space. Psychics. Mind yeah, mind powers. Don't make me go That's telekinesis, Kyle. <laughs> How about the power to move you? I can um. Yeah, I don't know. Jesus, ten mile long dick. That's pretty, pretty <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Only when it's viewed by a gay man. That was rad. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I mean, gay people too. still existed, you know. <laughs> nope, they were invented in the seventies. <laughs> gay people were invented in the seventies as a psyop by the CIA and the FBI, a joint operation in order to take out the U.S. from within. Okay. It's also why AIDS came around the same time as gay people. I, I, most of my words fall on deaf ears. Who? Is it that I just talk about nothing for too long? It kind of checks out. <laughs> well, when you started talking about the 10 mile dick, I kind of checked out. <laughs> checked out? That's when I'd be checking in, baby. Ch -ch checking in. I'm checking in for that 10 mile penis. Yes, it belonged to Jesus. <laughs> Wow. Can I can I die in the real world? Or You're no? no Jesus. You can't fucking walk on water and slang 10 inch, 10 mile dick. You are correct. I'm no Jesus. Now, is it 10 inch dick where it's 10 inch girth? What if it was just like only two millimeters in circumference, though? And it was 10 miles long. So he's got a needle dick? Yeah, it kind of looks like like a, a really, really thin piece of wire. <laughs> it takes him like 30 minutes to take who, a piss. Who would that it, be appealing to? I don't know. I feel like... Uh, like don't gophers have like really thin penises? <laughs> I only know about ducks, sorry. I'm not going to look up gopher penis. Sorry. <laughs> no? I feel like there is like an animal, maybe like a dog dick. Dog dicks kind of look needle-like. No, they look like lipstick. Yeah, they they are pointed at the end. Oh, okay. So the thing is, I guess what he could do for maximum girth is he could just fold it in on itself. Just roll it up like a uh, like a party favor. You roll it up like a fruit roll-up, you know, where you, you just crunch it up and then you eat it. Uh, 
you get the maximum girth that you want. So it really is the perfect penis, the 10 inch, 10 mile long needle dick. <laughs> you roll it up like a, like a fruit roll it up like a fruit roll up and stick it in. Truly the perfect man. Almost the upper skirt in this one too. You can absolutely. Yeah, but not you can't see the Ghibli bits. <laughs> so you refer to them as? That's the technical name? The Ghibli bits? The, the Ghibli bits, the hoo haws, the yin yang doodle. The scrum did the umptious muff. Very scrum did the umptious. That's what we call a scrum did the umptious muff. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> Well, it spits children out like you and me. <laughs> Leaks a, a thin white filmy mucus, which you can use to make taffy. Ooh, taffy. That's right. Not nearly as sweet as a normal taffy, but... Oh, look, I'm getting your favorite ability. Yay! Have you ever tasted gruel? Probably? Uh, no, no, no. Gruel with uh, two O's, not U E. Yeah, no, I know what you meant. Oh, I don't have to hold it? Okay, that's nice. Probably? What's it like? <laughs> that's not nice, wink wink. I don't know. I don't really call it, recall. I feel like something that looks that vile would taste equally vile. Is that not true? <laughs> Probably. I doubt it would taste like spaghetti, if that's what you're saying. Okay, no. What do you mean? You probably. You fucking <laughs> said you tasted it and you yeah, can't Yeah, but I, it's not like it like sits in my mind like, oh, there's that taste again. If it was, if something tasted that bad, I would remember the taste. Just like a wolf knows not to eat like a rotten corpse on the ground. It knows not to taste a little bit of vagina gruel. <laughs> you know, it remembers the taste so it knows not to make that mistake again. I suppose. I don't, like I said, it must not have been that bad because I didn't even recall. So did you like put a funnel into the pussy and then like <laughs> see what would happen? As I said, like, <laughs> like a politician, I don't recall. Yeah, and just like a politician, equally as fucking boring, you don't make for good television, we should put you on fucking C-SPAN. <laughs> oh boy, C-SPAN, my favorite! <laughs> right next to the Democratic <laughs> Congressional hearings. You know what makes for good television, though, is 11-year-old sword fights. They should That's <laughs> politics. Why don't they put that on? That's how we should have... Our, our democratic elections decided. Everyone everyone votes for presidential candidate, and then that presidential candidate gets represented by an elector count, which is like an 11 year old little girl with a jeweled sword. And they, they have to d battle to the death to decide whether or not, let's say like Donald Trump or Joe Biden would win. So they, they like pick a representative that, that is the, like going to use the sword. Mm hmm It's like a little blonde girl, a little brunette boy. Or is it exactly. Only, or is it only little girls? Only girls to oh, make okay. the, the playing field as even as possible. Oh, uh, okay. And because 11-year-old girls develop quicker than boys. <laughs> so they, they have more meaty muscle on them in order to swing those claymores. <laughs> those jeweled claymores. If that was the case, would you think that there'd be, like, like breeding, like, horses for, like, horse races? Like, so they would breed little girls... In order to represent the Democratic National Convention, like for like really like gigantic shoulders, in order to swing a broadsword just the right way the to shoulders? the head. I thought it was more of a bicep thing. It's it's kind of a because in order to raise the sword, you need shoulders at at certain angles, while biceps for maybe like lifting it. But to raise the sword above your head to swing, that's shoulders. Hmm. All right. So those bitches need good delts, you know. If you say so. <laughs> you gotta have nice, wide, manly shoulders to swing those things. So I'm just wondering if, like, they breed them to the point where they look you, like fucking, like, Transylvanian fucking, like, weird Frankenstein things. 
weird like Transylvanian Frankenstein 11 year old girls swinging jeweled swords for these Democratic National Convention nominees. <laughs> Was Frankenstein's monster known for his, his big lats or whatever muscle group you're talking about? He exclusively worked upper body, yes. <laughs> Oh no, Frankenstein's monster skipped leg day. <laughs> uh, that's why he couldn't swim and save that little girl. He couldn't kick hard enough. He could be so muscular that, like, he, 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 he didn't float. He'd sink. Yeah, he'd sink. He's like a fucking cinder block. Hmm. Well, that takes me over there. Sinks like the concrete shoes that Scorsese's Jesus would drop someone into the river with. Did you ever see The Irishman? Yeah, I saw The Irishman. You remember those parts where, like, Danny, or uh, I was gonna say Danny, Danny DeVito, but uh, Robert De Niro had to, like, do any kind of physical acting, like, like kicking somebody or, like, running over to a taxi cab to pull something out? <laughs> what did they use a stuntman? No, he, that they should have. He, he just like, he's got like this forty-year-old man's face, but he walks like an eighty-year-old. He just like <laughs> shambles. Was, isn't he, he like, like in his seventies? Well, yeah, but they they tried to do that technology to make him look young, it, like kind of like the Grand Moff Tarkin thing. Oh yeah, yeah. And so like it's kind of uncanny like seeing him like shamble, but like he's only forty. You know, he's walking like an old man that has rickets, and he, <laughs> and it's just like a simple walk, like a simple action, like walking over to the trunk of a cab to pull out a shotgun, and it's like every single step is a labor. What what would a new dance move called the bounce and tail, patented by Spurgle J Tanhauser? <laughs> J. Why would you want to come in here? Come on, this room's no fun. Uh, let's see, the bounce. The twerk is already taken, otherwise I'd say basically what twerking is. That's taken away. Uh, you rip your own head off and you bounce it up and down off the ground like a basketball. All right, so how does that attract the, <laughs> the females? Because you're able to rip off your own head. What, what better? Wow, I find him such an attractive and able-bodied mate. For being able to rip off his own head. <laughs> now you're getting it. I, I don't know why they never use these designs. I, I think they use them once for a boss later on, but I don't know why they didn't reuse them for Psychonauts too. Did I set them on fire? You didn't really pay attention. It's just a dark part of her mind that she locked off. And she originally ran an orphanage that fucking burned down and all the children died. Yeah, I saw that. Some people like the fact that like Psychonauts 1 is goofy on the outside and has some like really dark shit like that on on the inside. Mm -hmm. you, don't, um, you, don't, you don't have that stance? No, I like it. I'm just like Psychonauts. That's why some people didn't like Psychonauts 2's direction. Oh, it got darker? Yeah, it got darker, but it, it wasn't like... I think because there's that contrast of having a veneer of goofiness and, and funniness makes like the dark moments all that much darker. Sure. And that, that I guess he, the effect is kind of lost when you make the story uh, dramatic and uh, emotional from the get go. I see that point. But people will find fault with anything and everything. Of Who course. Cares? All right, now I can afford the cobweb. Well, I can. I'm high enough level to get the cobweb thing. I don't have enough money. You need more spirit arrowheads. Maybe you just give me another blowy or two behind the the lodge. I still like Scooby Doo for like Zombie Island. Pretty good. That might be it. Regular Scooby Doo is yeah. the pits. Well, like sixty Scooby Doo, yeah. Yeah. But, like I, I told you on the Scooby-Doo episode that we have yet to release, <laughs> that, um, what was I going to say? Uh, that Scooby-Doo, uh, um, was it Mystery Incorporated, I think it's called, which is that serialized one that ran for three seasons in Cartoon Network, like, in 2012, I think. That was pretty good. 
actually gave everybody a character and there was some all right jokes and the the art and animation was pretty good do you know that shaggy's a vegetarian now how do you pig out as a vegetarian do you eat nothing but <laughs> potato chips i guess <laughs> just potato chips and nuts they didn't make him a vegan but the guy who voices him insisted that he become a vegetarian so they did it they should have fired his ass <laughs> How dare you tarnish Shaggy's good name and legacy just because you don't eat meat. I guess that's a, that's a stance to take. I just kind of don't like how militant vegetarians and vegans can get. You know, it's, it's one of those, like, they would definitely be Nazis if they had more power. Oh, absolutely. They would be like, just like how this is can... my way or the highway. Everyone who does not choose my way of life, terminated. Um, just like, uh... I mean, just like Hitler. Hitler was a vegan. Yeah, I'm, you I would... think I jest? No, but I believe you. But I was. He's going... a pagan vegan. Pagan vegan. He he stands for everything America doesn't. The ham sandwich. <laughs> the the God fearing ham sandwich. <laughs> God fearing ham sandwiches. I mean, uh, God damn it! I keep hitting the wrong button. I mean, if you were a ham sandwich, you you would definitely be afraid of God. Or at least the fear of God has already been put into you by being sliced up and diced to be served to fat fucks. Yes. Well, yeah, Hitler. You know, he, he just fucking it was nothing but, you know, nizzy swa salads and. And potatoes. Neji Swa? Yes. I've never heard of this. Do you have some problems with water? Do yeah, no, water bad. Uh, oh, I thought I could add. I thought I could uh, roll on the water, but I guess I can't. No. 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 It always seems to be what we devolved to is just Lenny Honkin. <laughs> well, it used it used to be Skeletor, and now we've we've regressed. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of like a Lenny Honk, just... but extended. A little bit, but it's 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 got a little different kind of stank to it. It's got like the kind of sounds like Waluigi, you know. <laughs> yeah, Waluigi or um, Skeletor or. I guess you could almost say it kind of sounds like dastardly, dastardly and mudly. <laughs> I'm not familiar with. I, I mean, I know who dastardly is, but I can't think of his voice. He was voiced by Tyler the Creator in the new Scooby Doo movie. Uh, why do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, Mutley was voiced by um, who's uh, who's that really obnoxious dude that's on um, uh, Thirty Rock? that got into a car accident and made his face all mangled. <laughs> I, know, I know who you're talking about, but I can't think of his name. It, he's uh, The Black, but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what his name is. It starts with a T, I think. Hey. I don't want to say something that I would think because that, I think that's racist. t Sean. I was going to say Tyrone. <laughs> um, what is his name? Google Jesus. I feel like that's a dirty thing to say. <laughs> Just give him the old Google. Let's yeah. When you shove your hand up a man's ass and use it as a sock puppet, and then you get that sock puppet to type in Google search terms for you. <laughs> Bring it all um, back around. Yeah. Circuitous. That's how I do my jokes. <laughs> uh... I don't know what the black man thirty rock. Yeah, black man thirty rock. <laughs> oh man, that'll work. Black Frazier. Who is the black guy in Thirty Rock? That's the first one. Tracy Jordan. Tracy Morgan. So, Tracy Tracy Jordan is the fictional character in yeah, Thirty yeah. Rock, and Tracy. is portrayed by Tracy Morgan. Yeah, that's what I was okay. getting at. No, I remember you calling him like N word Jim or something okay. like that. <laughs> You, know, you were like really emphatic on that R too. You really wanted to make people know that he, he was not welcome on television. Hard R, Jim. 
Hard R Jim. I was like, that's kind of like over the line, Spurgle, you know? I mean, I was I was making fun of like the black thing, but then you're just like taking it to a whole fucking other level. Of course. <laughs> that's just how they that's how they get away with it by sharing it in the classroom, just hard R Jim. What what classroom? Uh, well, that was part of the problem with them doing um, uh, what's it called? The the one Twain. Book. Yeah, Mark Twain, just hard R Jim. Is that what they called it? Uh, no, but they should have. Well, what? So what did they say in your classroom? I don't think I I got taught. Um, no, was he, it Huck Finn that was yeah, in. I think it's Huckleberry Finn. No, same, but we didn't get it, unfortunately. Is it? I know. I would have really liked to see my liberal white teacher try and tackle that word. <laughs> Watch the sweat come out of every fucking pore. <laughs> As like, like some like black kids like just like saying, "Yeah, <laughs> what word? <laughs> What's his name? Teach? <laughs> What's his name?" <laughs> Uh, see, that's what's really great about that black-white reality show I was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know, it's just a television show where uh, they take a black family, put them in white face, and a white family, they put them in black face. Very fucking funny. But the white family has this... Uh, the mother is like the quintessential... Uh, Karen, like, white liberal. Oh, no. Where she was like... It, it it almost seemed like she was like sexually getting off to the f fact that she was black and that like her husband was black <laughs> and like she like goes off saying like yes i was a part of the civil rights movement back in the in the 70s and and it was just uh, the the black chick that's like the mother of the other family uh just tears her a new fucking mm -hmm asshole like <laughs> every single time they interact and she's she just has like a mental breakdown every single <laughs> i don't understand why she doesn't like me <laughs> yeah i just called her a bitch that's what the black people say to each other oh god yeah that's that's actually what happened in the show <laughs> that's what the card said that's what the piece of paper said <laughs> I like this this ability is cool for this level but yeah I like using it out in the world seems silly cuz all the stages are so tiny. Yep. There there's a few stages where it, it's totally fine and it's like necessary to get around just cuz they're so wide and open but mm -hmm. um that's not representative of all stages. No, definitely not. Like, I can't imagine using this in the f the first brain. Oh, I know. Like, well, as I said, in, in Psychonauts 2, they they nerf levitation hard due to that. Mm. Or else none of their level design would... <laughs> we fucked up. Yeah, but it's better than removing it all together. That would be kind of shitty. Absolutely. I, I think a lot of people would be pissed, myself included. <laughs> It's a cool power. It was a good show. <laughs> Come here, you bitch. No. We do not use that word on this stream. Uh, that is our I, word. How did I miss that figment? Oh, well, well, there we go. I think that's all. <laughs> no, there's that one. You already missed like 15 million on the slides. I don't know why I you're know. sweating these. Because I still need to collect them. Or else I won't get to the next level. Right? I need to be level 100. Is that like what yeah. you actually have to do to get to level 100 is collect everything? If you yep. Float in some areas, you. you might get a little more yeah, it's the same in Psychonauts too. Ugh. Did you actually do it? On both games, yes, I did. Woo! Good on you. Hey, if I could do Banjo Kazooie and Banjo 2. <laughs> the worst part are just figments because they don't have a whole lot of contrast to them. So they're kind of hard to spot in certain levels, like this one. 
Yeah, and everything's so damn colorful. Yeah. I'm not actually going back for the... I wasn't trying to go back for the figments. I'm trying to get uh, up there. If you could have sex with any fictional character, which one would you choose? God. <laughs> uh, Aphrodite, probably. If you float in some areas, you might get a Problem is the repercussions, the fallout from that. Hephaestus would cave your fucking head in with an anvil. <laughs> oh, so, so that, like... How does this work? <laughs> like, it's not just one... Well, you can have sex. It doesn't mean that... <laughs> like, the sex, there's... Uh, like, it happens. Like, it's consensual. Sure. But... It, I didn't say there would not be any fallout <laughs> from said sex. So her husband is real and comes after me? If Aphrodite's real, why wouldn't Hephaeus just be? Because <laughs> that's not... I didn't say I want to have a threesome with the two of them. So? So then why do they both show up? Because of face, this is fucking pissed that you slept with his wife. <laughs> well, that's too bad. For you, yes, because you're about <laughs> to get your head caved in by a fucking anvil. <laughs> so he's gonna Bugs Bunny me? Except it's real life. It's like totally gory. There's sh shards of skull and brain that splatter everywhere. And he licks up your cerebral spine fluid. Yummy. Relishes in your death. Yummy. Yummer. <laughs> but I bet the loving was good. It better be to be worth it to get your your spine and your skull smashed in by an anvil. <laughs> a, a holy Hephaeus just anvil. Who, who would you choose? Hephaeus just. <laughs> That that way, <laughs> Aphrodite gets jealous and then sleeps with me afterwards, and I get zero fallout because I've slept with both of them, and none of them want to bring it up. Checkmate, atheist. It's just awkward afterwards. <laughs> yeah. It's like that one guy you told me about that like slept with every single member of the family, including oh, yeah. the, the fucking family dog and the pet <laughs> the snake. The pet snake. When I was in the military, we used to have like Margarita Thursdays or tequila. Martin Luther King Day. No, no, no. We did Tuesdays. We did Margarita Tuesdays. But to join us, you had to watch a video where a guy fucked a snake. Why? Because <laughs> it was like one of the first. That, things that was your version of hazing. <laughs> yup. That's such a weird way to haze someone. <laughs> Yes, it was a weird way to hate someone, but also because it, it wasn't what anybody expected. Like, when and you... I guess it technically wasn't like, like straight on. Like we're gonna have to tug on your dick, and you have to fuck one of us in order to. <laughs> what gonna... what was you have to just to join a margarita Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, we're joining a margarita Tuesday. You gotta watch a guy fuck a snake. Margaritas and snakes aren't even anywhere related. <laughs> no, it wasn't related in the slightest. That's not what it was about. Why didn't you pick something like, like a, at least like a Mexican like bush snake or some <laughs> shit like that? At least to make it somewhat like an agave snake. Well, we didn't have a video of that. We just had a video of a guy fucking a snake. So that's what we made people do. What is it, an Arizona Diamondback? <laughs> no, it was like a big python. How does he fuck it? You just uh, shove his dick down its mouth or something? See, that's what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks you deep throat the snake. He, no. So, so what? He just wrapped the, the the python around his dick and it squeezed real hard? No, he actually goes into its cloaca. Ew. I didn't, say, Did he, I didn't say it was nice. That's just what he does. I didn't even think a snake's cloaca would be big enough to take a human's dick. That's I guess that guy must have had a small dick. Uh, no, it was decently sized, but it was also a big snake. For you. Yeah, now you're thinking of Bane fucking a python. <laughs> What's the matter, bad man? <laughs> Never seen a man fuck a snake? <laughs> <laughs> Your constitution leaves much to be desired. If there's to be a communist revolution, <laughs> snakes must be fucked. <laughs> oh, See, I was born in the python, fucked by it. <laughs> On that lovely note, 
We're gonna have to go up there. I got school I gotta attend. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna be thinking about snake cloacas the whole time anyway. <laughs> thinking about Bane fucking a snake. <laughs> I like that mental picture. I shall save that on my mental folder for later hilarity. Why is it Bill Clinton? You think that was Bill Clinton? That's what it sounded like to me. Oh, Bill Clinton sounds a little more like this. Yeah, that's better. So who's Not wishing? everything is a low rent impersonation. <laughs> Sometimes it's my own beautiful oh, divine okay. creation. Oh, okay, I got you. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys later. Oh, well, my money back. <laughs>